What's up YouTube? Seth here. I'm in Toronto right now. It's beautiful outside. Just a little bit windy today. Um, it's actually my one year with Christina. So we were celebrating. Um, this weekend we got an Airbnb and got some yummy vegan dinner. Just hung out. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are all well. I think I'm gonna vlog today show you guys what I'm up to. It's kind of just a chill day. We've lost an hour because of the time change. So we're gonna head back to her place and see her family. Right now she's out getting us some coffee and bagels. I might need some help. Oh, true. Okay. Ah. I'm filming you, is that okay? Yeah. I just realized, happy anniversary, babe. Yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> we were so set on trying to, well, we said it last night. That's true. That's so funny. How was your adventure? It was fun. Also, what did you get? I got six donuts, I got two bagels for us, one bagel for Carol, hot chocolate for me, and a latte for you. Thank you, baby. You're welcome, happy anniversary. I was supposed to vlog, but I totally forgot and had a nap. Christina does not want to be filmed, but she's working on her schoolwork and watching some show called Mortgage and Marriage. Mortgage or Marriage. And these are the donuts that she got. I want to show you guys. Ooh, we, we tested some. Yeah. They're too good. Can never close this box. Oh, you're filming me. I'm failing at boiling potatoes because I am not Irish. You don't want to be Irish, babe. I guess I don't have to do that right now. So we're making mashed potatoes and a smashed potato. Put them in together, and this finished early, so now I have to reboil that. Hello, Kara. I messed up. What? It's fine. <laughs> no, you didn't mess up too bad as long as you didn't overcook these. No, they're fine. All it's right, just, so we're good then. This is going to take an extra 10 minutes or more. That doesn't matter. We can also just always microwave it too. Wait, so what happened? I put them all in together and not finished before that. Duh. So now I'm reboiling. But is it soft enough to smash? Because no. it doesn't have to be as soft as this. Oh. Did you not? Yeah, that should be fine. All right, let me let me feel. It's okay. Oh, I thought you were gonna touch it with your finger. Uh, maybe oh, a bit more, yeah. Maybe it. Mm, but the thing is, in the oven, it cooks a little bit. Yeah, but okay, maybe a tiny bit more. But I wouldn't get it as. So, babe, did you do what I suggested and boil hot water in the kettle so that way when you transfer it, you have you start with hot water again? No. It's fine. Christina is going to murder me. Driving home, hands-free, of course, being safe. Um, had a really good weekend with Christina. It was a bit of a break for her. She's been really busy with schoolwork. Um, so, yeah, we stayed in a condo on the waterfront, like the harbor front area in Toronto. Um, it was really nice. We ended up getting fat choy. Um, I had like a curry dish. We had like a papaya salad. Um, there was a mushroom rice dish. And then like a sort of, uh, hamburger helper is not the best way to describe the dish but it was made with Impossible, the Impossible Burger, which um, is a fairly new uh, vegetarian, vegan burger, um, and it was really good. Uh, it's probably the closest I've had to actual burger taste. Um, so yeah, we had dinner together, and then we ended up getting bubble tea, um, it was funny though because Christina got kind of hungry and we didn't bring any snacks so it was decided that we'd go to the grocery store to get something. Um, so I went to walk to the grocery store and literally like a minute away 
there was this bubble tea place, so instead of Uber eating it, Uber Eats, Uber Eatsing it, I don't know. Instead of ordering it, <clears throat> we could have literally just walked a minute away from where we were staying, but it's all good. Um, yeah, it's nice to get away sometimes. Sorry the vlog is kind of short, guys. I ended up taking like two naps today. I've been pretty tired. I think I've mentioned before, not entirely sure, but I just started uh, a new job about a month ago and it's been kind of intense because I've had to get my license. Um, it's an insurance. And then um, I just wrote an exam last week and then I have another exam this week. Um, and then <clears throat> the training will be done. I'll be all licensed um, for the position I'm gonna be taking, so. Um, yeah, I hope you all are well. I know I've mentioned this before for sure, but it's been a really hard time this whole year. So try to be gentle with yourself, guys. There's been a lot of changes. There's been a lot going on that we've been exposed to. And I know for a fact, all of us in our personal lives are dealing with uh, different factors too. So yeah, just be gentle with yourself um, and take the time you need for yourself past this car real quick because they're going like very slow <laughs> um, and if you ever want to know more about my bottom surgery journey and you have any questions and anything like that feel free to ask but I also um, post exclusively about my phalloplasty journey on my patreon the link is below so if you want to check that out um, there are two options it's either five dollars or ten dollars american per month um and that really helps support me in making content and sharing because um you know constantly answering questions about my bottom surgery guys is a form of labor it's very exhausting and while i love to um help people on their own journey because it's it's hard to navigate and find all the information and Sometimes the best information is coming from other people's experiences, so I get that. I was like that too. Um, it's also very draining to constantly be answering questions on Instagram. Like, I probably get at least 50 questions a month on Instagram specifically related to bottom surgery. So, this is kind of your way to help support me to support you. Um, so, yeah, if you're interested, Patreon's down below. As always, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you're all well. Much love.